good morning to you students and welcome back to our history classes in today's class i will be giving you the history portion for the second unit test and a revision we have finished with all the lessons of the second unit so i will be giving you the history portion and a revision portion for second unit test in history you have two lessons chapter 7 the administration of the swaraj and chapter 9 the maratha war of independence chapter 8 an ideal ruler was for project so this chapter will not be coming for exam uh, chapter 8 will not be coming for exam you only have two chapters chapter 7 and chapter 9 then in civics we have two lessons fundamental rights part 1 and part 2 so totally you have four lessons two of history and two of civics but children the notes are provided to you but uh, you have to read these lessons nicely as objective questions can be asked from between the lessons so for that to prepare yourself well you have to read the lesson properly all the lessons children we now begin with the revision questions kindly copy them on a file sheet paper or a notebook that you have made after you finish copying them you also need to solve these okay so let's begin question 1 fill in the blanks by choosing the correct alternatives from the options given below now i would like to tell you something children it is that when you copy um, these objective questions in your book kindly when you are solving the answers don't only write the answers directly like for example in this fill in the blanks you have a, a particular answer that you have to write the entire sentence has to be written as answer and the correct answer has to be underlined the blank has to be underlined so don't uh, just uh, write the answers and leave it in one word okay so see to it that you copy the entire sentence the first fill in the blanks bahir ji nayak was the head of the dash department your options are a account department b intelligence department and c economic department the second uh, fill in the blanks aurangzeb was frustrated by the bravery of dash option a shahjada akbar option b chatrapati sambhaji maharaj or option c chatrapati rajaram maharaj the third one shivaji maharaj entrusted the responsibility of organizing the land revenue system to dash option a bahuji nayak option b netaji palkar and option c anna ji dattu the fourth one dash joined hands with the emperor against sambhaji maharaj option a the portuguese option b the british and option c the french the second question name the following under name the following the first question wife of chatrapati raja ram question 2 two. two main divisions of shivaji's army question 3 he put the raigad fort under siege and question 4 the main occupation of the people in the villages the third main question answer the following in one sentence under it the first question who would look after the war materials in the fort second who took away 
the golden pinnacles from the emperor's own tent. Question 3. What were the names of the battleships in the navy of Shivaji Maharaj? And the fourth question. Which poet has described the valor of Maharani Ta Tarabai? Question 4. Answer the following in brief. Under it, the first question. Why did Sambhaji Maharaj return halfway from the Janjira camp? Question 2. Give an account of Shivaji's policy regarding agriculture. Now children, although in the exams you will get MCQ questions, but still I have put brief answers in the revision questions. You have to study them and write them by heart in your book. You cannot skip out the brief answers even though if it is not coming for the exam. But in between these answers, between these brief answers, I can ask objectives from there as well. So these answers are not to be omitted even though they are big answers and give reasons. You have to study all of them. And so I have put them also in the revision so that you may not lose the practice of studying your big answers. So please study and do not skip the brief answers. Now uh, we go to the civics section. Civics. Question 5. Fill in the blanks by choosing the correct answer from the options given below. The first one. All children between 6 and dash years of age are entitled to get education as a fundamental right. Your options are 11, 10 and 14. The second question, the writ which prevents a subordinate court from exceeding its jurisdiction is dash. Your options are prohibition, co warranto or certiorari. Question 6. Answer the following in one sentence. Question 1. State any two freedoms under the right to liberty. Question 2. Where can we approach in case our rights are being infringed? Question 7. Answer the following in brief. The first one. What is meant by right to constitutional remedies? And the second question, what do you understand by fundamental rights? Children, this was the last question of the revision for today's class. Kindly complete this revision, complete writing the answers of this revision on a file sheet paper or a notebook that you have made. And please start studying. Thank you.